A 4-2 win for the Stars tonight for, uh, for a big win to open up a three-game weekend. And it is time for coaches' comments being brought to you by I Southside Auto Tech. saw you on Auto the board Tech. up there celebrating, didn't, after we scored, huh? I love it. <laughs> With head coach Rocky Russo. And what a great start to the weekend, Rocky, here as you guys earn this one. And I mean earn. A 4-2 win tonight. First win this season when trailing after two periods. What did it take tonight? Everything we had. I mean, when you play a team as good as them, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to compete. And you're gonna have to work. You're gonna have to deal with some adversity. Uh, we we obviously started the game pretty poorly. We didn't play a very good first period. I know that the numbers don't look like it. Shots are twelve nine or whatever, and it's only one nothing. But they really took it to us in the first period, and and then we started to to slowly shift momentum and just continue to do things the right way. And and I thought we played our best hockey in the third period when we really needed it. You started to really turn a corner in that second period. 21 shots on goal in it. What changed in that period in particular that helped lead to the big third? We were competing much harder. Uh, we, we were watching a little bit, and they're fast, and they make plays, and they're, they're, they're coached very well, obviously, and, and uh, they support pucks. They move, move it to the next spot, and, and uh, you know, we didn't do a good job. We were kind of a half step late for the, for the first period, and we started to – to arrive to those pucks on time and then in the third we started to arrive to them a half step sooner than them and, and that was ultimately the difference. Another power play goal for you guys. Five straight games of the power play goal. No coincidence, five straight wins as well. Juan Copeland gets it this time. What'd you see on that chance? We finished our routes to the net and you know we did a good job of winning some some puck battles, extending some possession. Our our breakout and our entry were really good. And then, uh, obviously, we get a shot from the, the right side and, and some net front traffic. Um, you know, Maltz gets the puck to the net, and, and everybody's playing downhill, and, and Copes finishes that route to the back post, and, and he's able to bury it. And two more goals for Blake Montgomery here tonight, kind of doing what he does, that, that first one to tie it up. Uh, I mean, that was a nice little play to kind of slip ahead of the defense. We seem to see him doing this a lot now. Well, um, their, their second goal was our neutral zone mistake. And, and our second goal was their neutral zone mistake. And, and we didn't turn their D on their second goal. It led to an odd man rush and a goal. And, and then they didn't turn our D. And we were able to zip it right up. And, and BMO gets his feet moving and, and a heck of a shot to, to tie the game. Last thing I'd ask you, it's got to be about the Jan Shostak sequence of saves late in the third period. How incredible was that? It didn't have to be that way. We made some mistakes, and, and we didn't do a good job of managing some sticks. But, um, you know, it's, it's all hands on deck around the blue paint, especially in that circumstance. And he made a flurry of saves. The guys were able to tie a couple sticks up, and, and eventually we get a whistle. But, um, you know, he, he probably wants the second one back. He probably wants the first one back, but he more than made up for it with some absolutely – uh, five bellers there with some big time saves and, and was able to keep us in it. Well, Ronke, enjoy this win here tonight. Looking forward to tomorrow at Sioux City coming up as well.